Hello YouTube, Matthew here. And uh, today we're going to take all those parts that we cut out with the 8th inch collet reducer last week and we're going to make an electronics enclosure. Uh, with those I also milled out some some acrylic for two of the pieces. And I've already gone and drilled some holes and pre-installed those onto the box. Uh, so basically what this box is going to do is it's going to house the Arduino systems here. It's also going to get a nice little circulation fan and a nice button on top which is going to go in this whoop, go in this hole right here uh, for a new reset button. Now the reason I'm doing this is uh, in some of the larger uh, mill jobs that I've been doing uh, I'm missing steps because the circuits on the motor control are overheating. Uh, so this is basically going to be an enclosure to put a fan to get some cold air running across it, get rid of that hot air, and uh, also add a little bit of protection to the to the fragile electronics. So let's get started and start blowing up these uh, these box components, and uh, then we'll get to the electronics. All right, so I've laid out the basic parts here. The Arduino is going to sit right here, with the connections going that way, like so. Uh, the motor shield will sit on top with those connections going this way, which will come out of these holes right there. The fan's going to mount into this right there, so it's going to blow across this way. And this side is just kind of a close out, uh, something nice, and let the air escape. Uh, and then the other side, like so. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to get a little battery light. Basically, we're going to use some five minute epoxy and we're going to glue all this up Now that we wait for the epoxy to cure, let's go ahead and start working on the electronics. Alright, now to hook up the fan, we're going to solder in the two fan leads into the ground and the VIN pin, which are going to be, the ground is going to be the second one from the end on the side with the, uh, where you plug in your stuff for motors, and the VIN is going to be the one all the way on the end. I'm going to do them from the back side because I don't want it to interfere with my stepper motors. So now we need to wire in some wires so we can hook it up to this reset button. Now this end of the reset button will get some connectors but we do need to solder in some wires to the shield uh, to get the, that connected up and running. Uh, so from comparing this one to this one, we need the reset pin, which is going to be the third one from the right, and the second ground pin, which is going to be the third one from the left. So we'll just solder in this little piece of wire right here. Uh, the enclosure is all glued up. Oh, sorry. The enclosure is all glued up and uh, oh, nice and cured. Uh, I did, even though I had marked everything, I did mount these two sides on the wrong side, so I had to redrill my holes to mount the Arduino to. No big deal, just kind of a goof on my part there. So uh, let's get to installing this stuff. First we're going to get the Arduino bolted down in position. Before I put the motor shield on top of the Arduino, I did purchase some of these guys. Oh, there we go. And these are little bitty heat sinks. I believe they were designed for use on uh, memory cards. 
So we're just going to take a couple of these and stick them on top of these guys and on top of the little towers right there. heat sinks on and the screw removed in there let's get these gauges mounted back up now that the motor shields in there let's go ahead and get this fan mounted up and the fan's just going to mount Well, I only managed to get three screws into the fan, but I guess that'll have to do. Three screws are better than none, I guess. I don't know. But, uh, so that's mounted. Uh, now the next step is we're going to wire up the button. I was going to use some quick connects, uh, but those weren't working out too well for me. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and solder it all together. Uh, so to do that. First, we're going to take the back end off of the, the switch, run it down the wires. But for right now, we're going to put those guys right there while we go ahead and solder up the switch. Well, it's times like this, I wish I had a heat gun. Uh, used a flame to heat heat shrink the top there. Uh, now we just remove the top, push the button through, feed up the black nut, and screw this guy on. Like so. Let's see if it fits this way. Kind of, sort of. I think if I remove that one screw on this one, just go that one and that one, I think it'll fit just fine. So uh, let me do that and we'll see how that goes. All right, so there it is, all wired up. Now I just need to run, wire it back into the CNC machine, fire it up and give it a test go and see if the fan works and all that good stuff. Uh, well, the fan wasn't quite moving as fast as I'd like it to. So I went ahead and rewired it and just ran the fan into the positive and negative on the power supply cord here. So now when I plug it in, it's plenty fast. And if you're going to see it, you might be able to hear it. I'm not sure, but it's getting really good air flow through there. So hopefully this will help solve a lot of my uh, overheating issues. Now I just got to wire in the X, Y, and Z leads, and it's good to go. As always, thanks for watching. And if you really enjoyed this video, go ahead and hit the like, bu like button. And if you'd like to see more, hit the subscribe button. Thank you.